Okay, and then when I am driving in this car without power steering, only thing is that when I drive is that, that what I can notice that the steering is a little bit heavier, but this works. And then I have this, this my warning message. They, they are now on because there is this power steering belt is also away. But but the conclusion is that when I insert this uh, timing belt, new timing belt and back in there, then there is no any warning lights. And actually I can drive in this Toyota Corolla without power steering. And this is good information that can I drive in my Toyota Corolla without this power steering? And my answer is that it, that it is possible, of course, this this steering is a little bit heavier, but in like in Toyota Corolla situation, this is not very heavy because Toyota's steering is quite light. Okay, and this was this information that if you live in some areas where there is no any spare parts or things, and you you are uh, you are familiar to drive a little bit heavier steering, you can drive car where is this power steering system is away because we have those normal steering joints there in there but in that my Toyota Corolla I am planning to insert in there this new uh, drive drive belt and this uh, this power steering pump belt and then this my Toyota Corolla's power steering works well okay and this was this information and thank you for watching this video and have a nice day to you. Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Today I have really interesting situation because I, I like to test that can I drive in this my Toyota Corolla without this power steering. Because now there is issue that my power steering cables are away and also this power steering pump hoses are away and that's we need to test that what happens when I start the engine and then we go to drive in this car and I, when I drive and then when I rotate the steering wheel I can notice that this car is running normally and actually the steering is quite quite okay and uh, 